Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, VisionRecordingStudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel, and today is another video from the AudioSchoolOnline.com mixing contest. If you don't know what that is and you haven't seen any of the pre, uh, previous videos, go out to uh, my YouTube channel and search for the playlist mixing contest and you'll see all the videos um, that I've done thus far. And in this video today, we're going to take a look at the organs, keyboards uh, sections, and then we're also going to take a look at these, um, what I'm classifying as the other um, instruments, which is a bunch of sweeps and a, a wobble pad and a, an ambient kick um, and a steam sound, kind of just, you know, a, a special effects. Okay, so um, we're going to start down here in the, um, in the, uh, in the purple here. We're going to take a look at these three tracks and what we basically did. We have a, um, um, a noise pad effect and we have an organ and we have a synth. Okay, so the noise pad, pretty straightforward. Um, nothing, nothing real complicated about what we're doing here. We're just kind of, kind of follow suit what we're doing with the, uh, the rest of the instrumentation as far as, uh, effects go and, um, signal chain. So here is what the, what the noise pad sounds like. And I'll just turn off these other ones and the rest of the mix is playing minus the vocals. It's this thing here. Okay, it's just an effect. So let's take a look at what we did here for the signal chain. It's the same as what we did on the rest of the mix. Prim primarily we have the Virtual Tape Machine by Slate Digital. We have the VCC by Slate Digital, again, on the Neve setting as we've done with the rest of the tracks. And again, I'm also using the, the Universal Audio 88RS Neve, Universal Audio Neve 88RS uh, channel strip. So um, if we take a quick listen again. Okay, so we're using a low cutoff at around 40 hertz. We're using a high a high cutoff at around, I don't know, 10K. Um, on the compression side, we're using um, a two to one ratio of fast attack to kind of push this back in the mix, a medium release. And we're compressing about, I don't know, four to five dB. If you could take a look right up here in the gain reduction meter, you'll see it. Maybe three dB. And we're just blending it into the taste. There's no EQ. It's just a special effect. It's no big deal. So you just kind of blend it in with the rest of the mix where you kind of want to hear it. Now let's take a look at the organ track, uh, which is, uh, let's see, we can go back towards the beginning of the song where it's a little more isolated. Okay, that right here. So again, virtual tape machine. VCC. Eight eight RS again, doing about a forty hertz roll off. Um, probably could roll it off a little bit higher, more, more like fifty hertz. You know, you could play with this and how how low you want to cut it off. And then again, a high pass filter around uh, ten twelve k compression we're using a slow attack this time two to one ratio again just doing um in a medium release here about three db of compression no big deal using the threshold to dial in that compression and on the eq side at around 10k we're giving it about three db a little bit of a bump turn off the neve here's what we got with the Neve. Okay, it's just to make it a little bit brighter to kind of cut through the mix a little bit. And again, dialing it into taste. And then we have the synth here. Let's take a look at that. Now let's get to a little bit of a louder section here. Tape machine. Okay, and then back to the Neve 88RS. Again, we're doing a roll off at around 40 hertz, high roll off at around 10K. 
Uh, let's see. Compression, we are doing a medium release. We're doing about a 4 to 1 ratio here, and we're dialing the threshold into taste. We're getting about 5 dB of compression here, as you'll see on the meter here. Okay, in around 6K, about 3 dB of a bump, just to kind of give it a little bit of cut through the mix. A little bump. Before the knee. After. I should probably give a little more makeup gain here. Okay, pretty straightforward, no big deal. Again, a lot of the these three tracks, primarily uh, from a volume perspective, are gonna once the rest of the mix is kind of going on, I kind of just bring these up and tuck them in the mix where I feel that it's appropriate. So again, these are easy tracks to process because there's already a ton. These are all software instruments, okay, organs and synths and noise pads. These are all samples that are already recorded really well. So the only thing we're really doing is just adding that continuity with the rest of the mix by using the tape machine and the console and the Neve 88 RS, all we're doing is kind of gluing it to the rest of the mix, okay? The reason why we're using the same three plugins on every single track um, is to give it that Neve kind of flavor and kind of give everything kind of a cohesive sound. That's exactly what we're doing here. So again, this was pretty straightforward. And, and the same goes for, oh, we're also sending it to a reverb here. And again, I'm using the same kind of reverb that I've been using all along. I'm using the Ocean Way Studios by Universal Audio. And I've said this in the other videos, if you're not, if you're a Universal Audio owner and you use their plugins and you don't have the Ocean Way Studios, I urge you to go out and demo it and buy it. It goes on sale several times throughout the course of the year for about 200 bucks. Normally it's a $350 plugin. It's a real pricey plugin, but it's worth every single penny. I've explained in more detail in the other videos, and there's also, I believe, a YouTube video on my channel going into more depth of the Oceanway Studios. But basically, they've modeled the room of Oceanway Studios, Studio A and Studio B, um, and it's using it. You could be using a re, in a in two different modes: in a re in a remic mode, which we're not using, or a reverb, and use it like a typical reverb, like we are using here. And it just gives it some more life and a more polished sound. Um, and it's not even though we're using it like a reverb. It's not like a typical reverb. It's the sound of the actual studio. So anyway, if you have Universal Audio, go check out the plugin. So we're sending these three tracks, or actually the organ and the synth to that, to that verb, not sending the noise pad because it seems like why, <laughs> you know? Uh, so you can see we're sending the organ and the synth to the, to the, um, to the keys verb. So um, I'm just dialing again, dialing it into taste, no big deal. Just kind of giving it a little bit of flavor. Now for these other tracks in purple, which, I'm, which I kind of classified as other, they're really just uh, kind of sound, again, some sound effects, some just some, some things just to kind of dress up the mix a little bit. You know, most of these things are, are pretty simple, no big deal. The first one is a, what they're calling a steam. Um, and if we kind of just give you a listen to what that sounds like. And again, they're running through the same three plugins. Okay, so this video is pretty straightforward for you guys. So if we listen to what this sounds like, um, it's just, it only happens once in the song. Okay, that's it. That's, <laughs> again, we're going through the tape machine, going through the, the virtual console, and then the Neve, and compressing about 5 dB. And what I decided to do, what I may decide to do is actually, because it only happens at the beginning of the song, I might automate it and pan it to, to move from left to right in the speakers just to give it a little interesting taste. But again, we're rolling off at around 40 hertz, uh, high cutoff in around 10K, and then we're doing uh, about four to one ratio for compression. We're doing a medium release, and we're doing about 5 dB of compression. And at about 6K, we're bumping it up about 3 dB just to give it a little bit of high end, and that's it. No big deal. Okay, on the first sweep, which is, uh, I only think that happens a couple of times in the song as well. Let's see. Oh, no, it happens twice. It's right here. So, again, it's not anything major here. These are just special effects that kind of dress up the song. You may decide not to use these effects at all. So, here's what we got here. I'll just turn this up a little bit. Okay, 
that's all we got going on there. And again, same three plugins, tape machine, virtual console, Neve 88 RS, same settings as we had on the Steam, the last track. Okay. Sweep number two, which is down here in the beginning. I probably could have just consolidated these tracks and put sweep one and sweep two on one track, but too late for that. <laughs> but you may want to do that if you're mixing the song. Okay. So let's turn down sweep one. Let's turn up sweep two. Here's what we have here. Again, little bit of a different flavor, same three plugins, right? And there we go. No big deal. Okay. Now let's go over to the wobble pad. I kind of like the wobble pad. I think it only happens once in the song right here in this section here. Just kind of a, again, a neat little sound effect. Pretty cool. You can choose to use it or not use it depending on what you're doing with the mix. Kind of cool. Tape machine. Console. About 3 dB of compression. About 8K, a little bit of a boost. Okay, and then you just, you just, you know, tuck this into the mix to taste. How loud do you want it? That's all. And then we have an ambient kick. Now this happens... Uh, throughout the song and I think in the choruses where it's just a sample of a of like a real spacey kind of a thunderous kick drum to give it a little bit more beef in, the, in those sections. So if we go here. It's a sample obviously. Okay, so I used the tape machine, the virtual console, the Neve, but then I used what I used on the regular kick drum. Um, I use this back, if you take a look at the drum video, we talked about the, P the plug in McClary Sonic. To give it a lot of sub-level. Basically crank the sub-level all the way up, the low focus all the way up, and the clarity about two-thirds of the way here, and just to just give it a big blue, you know, and it, again, I'm just tucking this underneath the mix, just to, you know, you don't want to turn this up too loud on the track because it makes the mix kind of muddy. But it's again, it's like an explosion kind of a sound. Okay, and then I'm sending that to the drum reverb that we talked about in the drum video. And again, these sounds here, you know, the, where they are, in relationship volume wise to the rest of the mix is really going to be tweaked once all the vocals are kind of playing you know these tracks that we're talking about in this video all will kind of be tucked in underneath everything else um so just to give it a little bit of flavor they're not going to be too loud they're not going to be too obvious but they're just going to be there's little bits um to kind of dress up the mix a little bit and to add some interesting sounds to the mix so it doesn't you know it come these sounds come in in different sections of the song to give it an, the the listener an additional element to hear that's different from the section before and that's what's really cool about it so it's just they're, they're kind of nice. And again, if you're mixing this song, you may decide to take some of these effects out and only use some of them, um, but that's totally up to you. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, this was kind of a quick one. It's kind of a, an easy peasy uh, video here. So um, come back for the next video where we're going to start taking a look at the vocals and we'll start finishing up this mix. So until next time, for more tips, tricks, concepts, and techniques around everything home recording, be sure to always head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And also be sure, if you're not watching this on YouTube, to head out to our YouTube channel channel and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tons of free content on here uh, on, on that YouTube channel, a couple of hundred videos at this point. So please subscribe and also go out to the Facebook page and, and like and, um, and, and follow me on Facebook as I'm always putting up special uh, deals and offers and information there as well to kind of uh, help you along with your home recording career. So until next time, this has been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I will talk to you guys all soon. Take care.